Good morning and thanks for joining us. I'm Cleo Green and I'm Matt Howerton. We begin with breaking news out of Fort Worth where the uh, July 4th holiday is already off to a very violent start. At least 11 people have been shot overnight. Now we know at least two people are dead after a shooting in the Como neighborhood in southwest Fort Worth. We do have a team coverage there from both the scene and the hospital and we want to begin with breaking news reporter Megan Mitchell. Yeah, let me tell you, at this scene here, eight people were shot. Two people died from their injuries, and even at this hour, we're hearing firecrackers, fireworks still going off. Just on some of the side roads here, there are about 100 people that are still making it difficult for neighbors to sleep. I mean, there's loud music, there's commotion, there's a lot of loud engines, and I even saw a fight break out as well and so it's obviously a very chaotic scene here and this scene specifically goes on three blocks you can see just how many police officers are here even at this hour so the situation became even more chaotic last night as medical professionals from medstar they were actually unable to access the scene police had to load up victims into their squad cars get them from that scene large crowds into the ambulances the incident began just before midnight after really what was supposed to be a celebration. I mean, here in the Como neighborhood, they have their annual party on July 3rd, and it's supposed to be this joyous occasion, a long-standing tradition in a very historic neighborhood. Firefighters lighting up the, or fireworks uh, lighting up the sky. People, of course, gathered for a big neighborhood parade and barbecue, but um, that, that became panic as the night went on. Gunfire erupted. Just a terrifying moment for folks as those shots rang out. People scrambled to get to safety, trying to get away from here. And police say it was just a chaotic scene. A lot of vehicle traffic, a lot of foot traffic. Um, as you can tell, still fireworks were being shot off. Uh, lots of people just trying to flee the area from the multiple gunshots. So it was difficult for them to navigate quickly into the area. The motive here is still unknown. We also don't know how many shooters there were or perhaps if multiple people were shooting at each other. We're still learning all of that. What we do know at this time is that here in Como, eight people were shot. Two people died from their injuries. Those six other victims, we are unsure of their conditions at this time, but we also have our reporter, Natalie Haddad, who's live for us at JPS right now, who has much more on what she's seen there at the hospital. Natalie? Megan, we don't know how many of the overnight shooting victims are here at JPS Hospital. We don't know their conditions, and we also don't know if any of the victims brought here to JPS were among the deceased. Now, it is quiet, though still an active scene here. Police still here and some uh, people still gathered in the parking lot, seemingly waiting for updates. Uh, speaking of the people here in the parking lot, there have certainly been moments of tension that everyone seemed privy to. Within the last hour, we've heard three to four rounds of gunshots. We had hoped they were fireworks, but it appears Fort Worth PD did respond to gunfire along the, around this neighborhood and each time we heard that rapid gunfire just sounded closer and closer and everyone uh, could hear that and seemed to look around but still they waited in this parking lot now it has been about active here since 3 a.m. since we got here cars have steadily driven in and out of this parking lot uh, here at the JPS emergency room crime scene tape can also be seen around a couple of cars in this parking lot where we've seen investigators taking photos and searching those cars and after seeing law enforcement come in and out of the ER that's when uh, we noticed that they were exploring more of the cars in the parking lot so again we don't know how many of the overnight shooting victims came to JPS hospital we don't know their conditions and we don't know if any of them are among the deceased however we will keep you updated right here on WFAA's Daybreak but for now, Cleo, I'll send it back to you. In Natalie, studio. thank you. Yes, there's still a lot to learn here this morning. You know, just two years ago, eight people were shot near car wash in Como just hours after the first ever Como first, a Como fest rather. No one died. Police say multiple people fired weapons there, but the shootings had nothing to do with the event itself. 